We are stuck at Campbell River waiting for the winds to die down because they're just gusting like crazy. And so while we're stuck here, we thought we would show you on this really cool map that we have um, some of the places we've been and kind of tell you a little about what we saw. So Neil's going to open it up for us here and I'll give you a little rundown. Okay, it is a really cool map. <laughs> There we go. Okay. We left Rocky Point Marina on the Columbia and ended up in Astoria for a while. And then after Astoria, we went across the Columbia River Bar, which is notorious for being a difficult bar to pass. We had no problem. Went around Cape Disappointment and continued on the Pacific up to Westport. I kind of wanted to get off of the Pacific and take a little nap because it was very tiring. Now that bar is another story. Now that was extremely intense to say the least and there is a video on that. I don't ever want to cross Gray's Harbor Bar ever again in my life. After that we went for 21 hours up to the Strait of Juan de Fuca, past Cape Flattery, into Knee Bay. We got there at four in the morning. We were very tired. We anchored and slept like babies and woke up to loons singing to us. It was lovely. We had some um, indigenous people come by in their boats looking at our boat. And we just wonder if it has to do with the fact that our boat is named Shawnee. Anywho, moving from there, we went to Port Angeles to get some fuel, to get food and laundry, and it was nice. The, the manager there, the dock guy, whatever he is, what is he, a harbor master? He was really awesome, super neat guy. Then we went to Seacum Bay, which Neil and I kept, no, see, we said it again, we keep calling it Seacum because we're nurses <laughs> and it's really squim. We went to Squim Bay. Anyway, it was um, very nice. We took an anchored buoy there and it was like an alpine lake. It was just gorgeous, just lovely. From there, we went up over to uh, Lopez Island, which is right there and stayed at Watmau Bay. There is um, some videos on that. It was lovely also. And, oh, we forgot, I forgot to tell you, as we were turning into um, the Cape of Juan de Fuca, or whatever, no, whatever it is, the Juan de Fuca Strait, our autopilot quit working. And of course it's dark out and it's kind of narrow there. And anyway, the autopilot quit. So Neil arranged to get a new autopilot module thing for us at Anacortes. So from Squim Bay, we went to Anacortes to pick up the new autopilot part. And we, it was, uh, what did we do there? Oh yeah, we anchored, so we spelt, we anchored next to um, a really cool boat. It's called, you should look at his website, um, YouTube website. It's Sailing Vessel Bully, B-U-L-L-Y, on the YouTube channel. He's a really cool guy raising his kids out on the sailboat with his dad. Super, super cool. You should check him out. So from there, from Anacortes, we went on to Stewart Island, which is one of our most favorite places in the San Juans. Finally made it to the San Juans again, which was so nice. We spent three days there, uh, hiked, uh, had a shellfish feast and there's some videos on the island that we took on the school and the lighthouse definitely worth going we love it there we would have stayed but it was time to move on and we went to Canada we needed to check in in Canada I had to see where I was we went to uh, South Pender in Bodell Harbor South Pender Island, I guess, in Bodell Harbor. It was so easy to check in, and it's so pretty. Anyway, it was just easy peasy. We were all worried about it, and it was no problem at all. 
Then we went to, uh, where did we go? We went to Comox, which, is that right? No, we went to Nanaimo, and we always say it wrong, and I think I just said it wrong again. It, it's called Nanaimo, Nanaimo. Oh, never can get it right. Anyway, we got fuel and propane. There's a story about the propane. That's for another time. And we took a buoy at uh, Newcastle Island, Mark Harbor, or Mark Bay. And it was just so beautiful there. We stayed several days and hiked to the, it's a state park and they have camping and just all these beautiful trails. And we hiked there and just loved it. Stayed there, watched the uh, seaplanes come and go from Nanaimo and it, it was just great. From there we went to Comox, which is here. Beautiful town, really liked it. We used their library, it's super clean. Oh, I wanted to mention back in Nanaimo, there was a huge homeless population. Like, we were shocked by the amount, just just saying it was it was really something okay back to Comox it was beautiful clean the library was wonderful it was very peaceful everybody seemed really happy loved it then on to where we are now Campbell River and we're waiting to go through Seymour Straits Narrows, Narrows Seymour Narrows and on to the end of Vancouver Island and up into Alaska we're almost there Anyway, that's where we are. Thanks for listening.